After 49 years of calling Sam Boyd Stadium home, UNLV football said goodbye today and marked the 299th game. And it very well may have been the best of the bunch. Fox 5 sports reporter Vince Sapienza is here to show us the stadium finale. Vince? Cassie, UNLV football fans, when they look back at the season as a whole, there's going to be a lot of disappointment. The season of shoulda, coulda, wouldas. However, when they look back on this day, on this game, there's going to be a whole lot of smiles. Now, I've got more highlights than I have time to show you, so let's see how this one shook out. More than 200 UNLV football alumni showed up to say goodbye to Sam Boyd. Rebels legend Randall Cunningham with the coin toss honors. UNLV led 21-6 at the half. Now, in San Jose, you don't put mustard on your hot dog. You use Dijon, the Spartans. Dijon Packer kept it 300, showing the fight, looking like Leonidas, the man amongst boys. San Jose outscored the Rebels 22-3 in the third and led late in the fourth. 35-31. Under two to play. Kenyon Oblad, Henderson's own. Looking like a carney at the fair. Just dropping dimes left and right. Drops the bucket to Randall Grimes. The sophomore with clean catch. Gain of 38. Two plays later. Charles Williams telling everyone all aboard the chuck wagon. C-Dub ran for a career high 186 yards. Three scores and became the ninth Rebel to rush for 1,000 yards in a season. Rebels on top by three. Fast forward under a minute to go. Josh Love. So in no love to the Rebels. Secondary hits I Isaiah Hamilton. It's all about the Benjamins, baby. 80 yards. Sam Boyd going silent. But with 12 seconds to go, it got a rock. And third and goal from the five, the Bishop Gorman's own Greg Francis bats the ball and Colo Waske comes down with it. UNLV's fifth takeaway of the day. That would be the seal and the deal as Tony Sanchez, the Rebel snap four game skid, sending Sam Boyd Stadium out with a win. 38-35, the year final. To see it closed down is bittersweet, um, but like in every story, there is a new chapter. You know, and the new chapter is Allegiant Stadium. The new chapter is Virginia Football Complex. The new chapter is this program now having access to facilities that they never dreamed possible five, six years ago. So it's going to be uh, it's an exciting new chapter for for the Rebels. Now, coming up in sports, I'll have the full highlights from today's stadium finale thriller. Plus, sports director Kevin Bollinger spoke with the team following today's victory. But before we hear from him, let's show you the sights and take a listen to the sounds who, over the years, made Sam Boyd Stadium so special. The fans. I miss the tailgate, the camaraderie uh, that goes on here. I love Sam Boyd Stadium. Um, I'm excited that they're going to Raiders Stadium, but I am going to miss going to games here at Sam Boyd and being able to tailgate. Oh, have this fun in the parking lot beforehand. Yeah! Really close to the action. You know, fire away, every seat's good in the stadium. They used to have the fireworks here at Sam Boyd, and I could see those from my patio. Fans, I see the same people every year around me. So, yeah, looking forward to see what happens next year. It's um, kind of sad to see you go, but exciting to see them go into the new stadium. Once a Rebels fan, always a Rebels fan. Well, last night, Fox 5 had a chance to sit down with former Rebel quarterback and NFL pro bowler Randall Cunningham. He told us that he enjoyed playing at Sam Boyd Stadium because he said it was ahead of its time. You know, Vegas, we try to do everything big, just like with the Raiders Stadium coming in here. It's going to be pretty amazing. But uh, yeah, it was it was a beautiful stadium and we would go and there were not many stadiums that were like our stadium. Beautiful locker room. Uh, both teams would come out side by side and you'd look over there it's like, yep, you're in our stadium. And the cannon would go off and it was just, it was a beautiful thing. Well, Cunningham says that he hopes the stadium will stay around and that it can be potentially a new home for a new football team.